I would uh, finish off by beginning uh, where I did begin, where I mentioned in the first experience that I shared that uh, uh, Reba Zar and all the real guides have approached everybody on the real side throughout the length and breadth of uh, creation. So regardless of how they may seem through their personal selves on the physical level, they do all know about about this and uh, and uh, throughout and with my uh, real side experiences, particularly recently, I am finding that the the vast majority of individuals, regardless of the body forms, whether they're and whether they're humans or aliens, they are a lot of them are indeed very interested and are willing to listen to the uh, to the real references that pertain to the ears uh, more so than ever before. And they certainly are cooperating and getting on board. And um, as an example, and it does seem that uh, I think uh, uh, Dwayne mentioned in one Skype uh, a while back that all these various epochs are very necessary for um, an individual to wake up. Because obviously, as you might imagine, if one were to sit in the golden epoch for an eternity, there's not exactly much of an incentive for the personal self to wish to extricate themselves from what is as close to a paradise as you can find on the um, on the physical level. And so it is very much the case that uh, all the agreements that uh, result in the constriction and the cause and effect that brings a simulator through its cycles is very necessary. And it is very often the case, and, well, it, and it is very apparent when we do reach the Iron Epoch and things are getting very bad, that is indeed the point where a lot of people will start to wake up. Again, not everybody. Some pe- a lot of people will remain here to the bitter end and be caught in the implosion. But certainly, certainly a deteriorating situation to the extent that will very soon be experienced throughout the length and breadth of creation is more than an incentive for most. And as an example, uh, an, in, an, uh, uh, an, an individual I've known on the physical level this lifetime. I've seen his uh, personal evolution through the real side experiences that I've had with him, so he could be very so he could be very much an example of a microcosm of all the overall individuals and the way they are all overall coming on board and beginning to see the bigger picture. For when I first met this individual on the real side, he had no interest whatsoever and indeed would uh, more or less represent resistance and restriction to anything I was doing, as much as I would attempt to uh, impress upon him the importance of his awareness and uh, mention the new song. He seemed very adamant in his uh, self-convinced contentions and had no interest in it whatsoever. But as I persisted on the real side experiences as the years rolled on, I would notice how certain things were definitely bleeding through to his personal self, so he would start to be a little more open to what I was talking about, as he always had to endure a lot of the information that I would tell him about what I was doing. And at one point he would actually ask me for for evidence of uh, that he exists beyond his physical body. And for that I simply pointed out that uh, at the time I was doing a lot of astral projections and I told him, well, if I am able to leave my body and uh, astral project, and that obviously does indicate that I still survive in some form or shape beyond the physical body, therefore much, very much demonstrating that is simply a vehicle, and he would accept that, and uh, and that would make sense to him. And as I said, as the years have rolled on, I w- he would uh, I would see him in his real side uh, personal self house a lot of times, and and manage to successfully encourage him to leave it. And in more recent times. Uh, we have been on all sorts of adventures and we've been um, um, travelling over the psych realms which are generally represented by um, bodies of uh, water and uh, for him in, for him, I think the big wake up was when on one real side experience he was listening to what I was saying in regards to the new presentation and the references and all of a sudden he actually transformed into a reptilian and he was very shocked by this. And when asked, asking me as for an explanation as to his transformation, I said, "Well, this is what you. This is the. This will be the. This is the culmination of what you have agreed to up until this point." 
and everything being instantaneous on the real side, he was the final product of his agreement, in other words, but it's very likely he would be he would put, have projected into fu- into such a future body time body type in the fu- in in some future lifetime. And I think, as I said, the incentive of a deteriorating um, eye and epoch situation is certainly a wake up for everybody. And for him, I would say him his realization that he was becoming a reptilian was certainly the wake up for him. And. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying, so overall, I'd wrap that uh, wrap that up by saying that uh, yes, uh, a lot of people are probably the everybody knows about this on the real side. It's just a question of whether it filters through to their personal self. But uh, little by little, it is dripping through. It's a slow process, but um, I think uh, I think everybody will be very surprised. I think I I, I I suspect that more people will suddenly wake up and has been anticipated. So. So there we go. Thank you. When talking to people, like uh, 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 some of them uh, seem uh, interested in the subject, but uh, as uh, uh, when I talk to them, as long as I kind of explain and feed them with information and things like that, it uh, they seem uh, interested in but uh, at the point that they have to do something uh, to have their own experiences and things like that uh, then they just uh, 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 give up give up and uh, don't uh, do anything so obviously we all are real beings uh, uh, so it does not matter whether they wake up now or in 10,000 lifetime, more lifetimes, as there is no time. And <laughs> something else would be, uh, uh, we, they would be, would be living something else, some other creation or some other simulation, whatever. Uh, uh, but uh, so eventually all of them would wake up at one point whenever it is Uh, but uh, what I was talking about is about uh, mm, people I know, people I communicate with and uh, uh, they seem totally uh, unprepared to uh, step into anything unknown actually not even mentioning a new presentation uh, as uh, something uh, totally real uh, as a step toward uh, the whole of life so thank you it's, it's a drip 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 process if people could be invited to the skype so could have invitations to do something, any any little thing. I mean, that would they usually need some kind of like a you to get going, something to get going with. And once they see that how it works, that by contributing somehow they can see more and get going. It's just that first first step or two sometimes. Dwayne and I go in the ocean every day, and it's cold, been cold, like 57, 58, 59 degrees, and it's just that first plunge, it's always, a, you have to kind of brace yourself, so sometimes it's like this, with, with this, just to get over this resistance by the personal self, that initial resistance, and then do something, you know, encourage people to do something, and then once they see how it works that oh I become more aware by doing this um and plus singing the new you you it's another aspect and they'll maybe you know gain some momentum with this because it does take a lot of stamina lots of stamina to keep this up but it's well you know it's wonderful the way it is so it's, it's beyond rewards or or that kind of thing. It's just wonderful. 